Hello, my dear son. How are you? I'm fine. Congratulations for the great success you did, my dear son. They deprived me from you, father. While I was three, today I am a tall young man with strong muscles. I'm receiving my result in the general secondary examination. And, and you are far from me. I cannot hug or touch you. I wish that you were with me in those moments. I wish that you were the first person to hug me between his arms when hearing the result. Oh, Dad, do you know what is the incomplete happiness? It is the happiness without father. Since I have been in the first grade when my uncles were coming to school in your behalf in every situation, even in the honoring parties when all students stand with their parents, and I stand with only Ben and Yirmik for you. Really, I'm very happy and delighted for the great success you did, my dear son. I'm very happy and delighted for the great success you accomplished despite of all the pain and deprivation conditions. Here, I am living between four walls, cursing them a thousand times each day. What can we do, my beloved son? It's the bitter reality we live in. It's the occupation. I am here in an exile inside my home country. I am exiled, constrained, and expelled. Did you hear about an exile inside the homeland? It's the prison, my dear son. What can we do? What can we do other than praying for God to get rid of occupation and to attain to our place of birth? houses and homeland now dear son you have to take care of your upcoming life study and your future in university no father my way in here i don't want to pursue my study i don't want to be concerned by another dream of having you having you beside me in my graduating from university that's enough for me i feel the incomplete happiness every time it is the happiness without father without you dad no, my dear, my beloved, whatever your pain is, hide it in your heart. Don't show your weakness or sadness to anybody. They stole our land, but they will never steal our education, future, and ambitions. We'll fight them. We'll fight them by our education and future and wealth. You are a son of an engineer. You have to be proud between your colleagues. In some day, you will be a doctor who treats the injured or a teacher who teaches the freedom to the coming generations or a lawyer who stands in a court advocating a prisoner like me. <laughs> Adhere to your future <laughs> and don't worry about anybody here, even if it was me. <clears throat> the visit is over. Get up and go to the place where you came from, Sorry. your eternal exile. And they will Father. come, and I would be out of here. Father. I will rejoice and grieve with you. I will be among you even in death. I will do it. I will do it. I will do it. <laughs>